Hi guys, today we're taking a look at the review analysis tool in Sellersbride. Let's suppose you sell this product or maybe you want to analyze your competitor. For consumers, product reviews are very important when considering purchasing a product. And for us as sellers, it's also very important to see what the market thinks about your product or your competitor's product before you release something similar onto the Amazon market. On this listing, for example, they have over 51,000. It would be impossible for me to review them all. The traditional way is to literally go through one by one to work out what's good and bad about the product. For this Seller Sprite tool, we just need to go to the listing, onto the product detail page like this. Here we can see we have the Chrome extension from Seller Sprite and click this button here, Generate Seller Sprite Analysis Report. Now it's done and we can view it now. As we can see here, these are the different models of the product that was analyzed. For example, the first Asin has over 25,000 reviews. Now, as we scroll down, we can see 40% of reviews are from men and 60% are from women. Here we have the main characteristics of the people reviewing. For example, daughter-in-law, 5%, husband, 4%, wife, 4%. Here we see where they use it, kitchen, 40%, home, 8%, restaurant, 3%. Then here is the usage scenario. For example, what reason they would buy the product. For example, 32% of people are looking at this product as a gift. Going even deeper, 11% of people mentioned using it every day. And then it has a design that's perfect for cutting vegetables. Now over here, we can see customer expectations. You can see from here, 28% expect it to be long lasting. 26% expect it to be larger in size. 9% non-slip and so on. In the pros, we can see the positive feedback like high quality, easy to clean, attractive and so on. Now in cons, what people didn't like, 32% said cracks. So whether you're simply a seller or you want to design or manufacture, these kinds of reviews would help a lot. As we continue scrolling down, we can see reviews by time. Then down here, we can see reviews by the different assins. And this is by the time frame over here that we can select. Down again, we can see the trends of reviews coming in according to different ASINs over time. We can see the different keywords used in the reviews. Then if we want to drill down on more specifics, we can filter three-star reviews and select picture reviews, then select a specific ASIN. Let's try this one. And we can even target a time period as well. So as you can see, we can pull up two results for this search. Another example might be one-star reviews, which are via Vine or video reviews to broaden the search. Okay, as you can see, it pulled up some very specific results for us to analyze. That's all for today's tutorial on review analysis. Thank you for watching. See you next video.